Hello friends, this is Umesh and here in this video I would going to talk about the pins available on Raspberry Pi 3. So if you have a Raspberry Pi 3, you can see there are 40 pins, physical pins available on Raspberry Pi 3. And um, I found out it's a little bit weird uh, with the, the physical pin convention. So if you look at the first pin, so this is the physical pin number one, two, three, four, if you follow my mouse cursor. So this is perhaps the GPIO, not GPIO, but physical pin 40. So it's very weird. So I thought maybe to put out this video and then to talk about a little bit about the pin. So if you talk about the first pin, then it's a 3.3 .3 volt and there are a bunch of GPIO pins. Then you have a plenty of power pins um, so usually the ground is um, the one that is represented with black arrow and yellow is represented with um, uh, GPIO pins and you can see there are plenty of GPIO pins there are so many um, different pins available so that you can connect more and more devices so let me talk about each and every pin so let's talk about 3.3 volts so this is very important pin because raspberry pi the processor actually works on 3.3 volt but the board powered with the 5 volts and 2 ampere current so um, if you are if you have a sensor which uh, runs on 3.3 volts you can make use of this 3.3 volt pin and then you have so many ground pins uh, represented with black arrows so it's better to have more power pins more ground so your circuit would not look ugly when you put out on the breadboard you can see there are a um, pair of uh, 5 volt pins it's very good I'm very happy that they have given this 5 volt because if you want to connect something like a display on maybe a servo motor or something like that which uh, needs a 5 volt external reference voltage so in that case this 5 volt is very handy you don't need to put out external socket to connect those devices then you have a tx and rx pins um, available for uart communication there are some uh, gpio pins you can see here that can also be used as a multifunction with uh, i2c and spi communication but i would be making uh, pretty extensive videos on those communication protocols so i thought maybe not to put out in this video because this is a very um, introductory video uh, about the pins and the GPIO pins. So you can see there are plenty of uh, GPIO pins and power pins and all things. So um, this is all uh, from me in this video. In the next video, we're going to connect an LED to uh, GPIO pin 21. So we're going to light up an LED and then uh, we'll um, uh, do some more fun stuff by adding delay to it and then blink that LED. So I would be very excited to see you and catch you in the next couple of videos. So, so I want to say thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.